A North State fitness trainer says a few simple adjustments in her daily life have changed her life. She's now spreading the word about her new eating habits in a new book called Everyday Paleo. Action News reporter Ross Field shows us how paleo is really paying off for Sarah Fragoso. So often people don't really address health issues that they're having. Chico resident Sarah Fagoso used to be one of those people. Three years ago, she was down on her luck and out of shape. But thanks to a lifestyle change through the paleo diet, Fragoso now looks like this, something not all mothers of three can say. Not only made me healthier, but it gave me more mental clarity and, and you know, turned me into just a, a, a different person altogether. The paleo diet is an easy concept. Fragoso says we should eat as our ancestors once did. Foods that were not processed, modified, or tampered with in any way, shape, or form. Fragoso says it's how our bodies are meant to be fueled. Eating paleo really it just simplifies what we eat. So it's sticking to meat, veggies, healthy fats, fruit, and nuts. And that takes away all the processed food, essentially. Fragoso got so involved with the paleo diet, she was featured last year in Women's Day magazine and has now written a book about it. She says it teaches people how to embrace a natural diet and lifestyle to increase your family's health, fitness, and longevity. Plus, she says it has some really great recipes. You'll see things that are considered uh, normal. So I have meatballs or paleo spaghetti or paleo lasagna. I even have a paleo pizza recipe in the book. So a lot of it is um, alternatives to what most families are used to eating, but in a healthier version. Other than tasty recipes, the book also includes a 30-day meal plan with weekly shopping lists. And it also has a fitness manual with routines that work for seasoned athletes and beginners. I'm trying to reach anyone and everyone when I um, talk about my book. And Fragoso says one of the best parts is how easy it is to get the whole family on board. How to get the kids excited about food, about healthy food, and not traumatize them when you take away their Pop-Tarts in the morning. So um, it really is about um, getting the, the kids excited and, and not um, turning them away from what could be a real positive experience. In Chico, Ross Field, Action News.